right guys in this video i'll be showing you guys what you guys need for a trailer basically like a starting list so first uh you want to keep everything in safely and out of the water because i'll leave my stuff in the trailer and the little compartment right there i bought myself a little toolbox this is from home depot it cost me six dollars and um it holds everything um dry it holds everything in there everything fits uh everything is dry so um i suggest a good toolbox that's waterproof and uh, that you know that you're not that you're not going to want to keep perfect because it's going to be at the mercy of the of mother nature and uh, you don't want to keep a nice toolbox and get it all weathered next i uh, bought this also at home depot when i bought the box this is an adapter from um, in case uh, you have that uh, type of plug right there it plugs in and it makes it into this uh, four plug or the, the four or the the five plug so this is very important if you don't have this type of plug and you only have this one it converts it for you next on the list are the hitch adapters this is my very first one right here uh, this is a two inch straight adapter uh, it worked good but um i needed uh it, the trailer was too much an incline so i just used this for any other vehicle i used or i don't need the the drop so and uh, next are the this is a a hitch also adapter but this one comes with the drop as you can see right here it has a two inch drop with the two inch ball so this is my uh, one of the one of my adapters and then, uh, uh, the one that I'm using currently now is the three the three and a quarter drop one uh, the two inch uh, ball and uh, it's a Reese. I bought these from AutoZone. And uh, they also come with their pins right here. So that is the adapter right there. So next on the list are the pins that uh, keep your adapter in. As you can see, I have both. I have a key one and I have one with a cotter pin. Um, I use this one quite often. I bought the, purchased this one from Harbor Freight. It was uh, inexpensive. But um, as you can see, it goes in and then this goes inside. This, and then you lock it and that's it. So this is one way to keep your, from uh, theft from your adapters. So, and then uh, you don't wanna see them just unhitch it from here and then take your whole uh, trailer away. So I will suggest something with a key so like that. You don't have you don't be worried on any stop or anything when you're traveling the next item that i bought was a coupler lock kit and it uh, comes with the automatic chrome coupler lock the boomerang pin that locks your uh, hitch your hitch adapter and a coupler lock they all use the same key so you don't have to carry three types of keys and just carry one and that's it and this uh, protects your copper lock for someone to not to be stealing it and uh, locking um, or actually taking your trailer off when you're on the road so i strongly suggest this if you're going to be uh, traveling or you're going to have uh, or just having in general it's a very useful kit to have So next, next on the list is um, the hitch covers. These are very, uh, this one was very uh, inexpensive. Uh, this one obviously is just a cover. These are lights right here. Now that I'm gonna have the, the wiring adapter for my uh, hitch, I wanted to use one. So I bought these in AutoZone. They're both $15. This one um, is just a third light and this one is a uh, Chevy bow tie that lights up when you brake. This will protect your hitch 
from uh, getting water inside or rust, rust up. So I would suggest it's a good idea to get that just to protect the inside of your, your hitch so it doesn't um, just rust up or anything when you need it. Next, um, I suggest a uh, just a multi-tool, you know, just you, you never know when you might need something. Screwdriver, a Phillips, a knife or anything. I keep this in my, my box right there. So that's uh, one thing that I uh, carry with me. Um, this is obviously a lock for the um, for the tongue box. So that's uh, I also the lock I use. It's a grade four. Um, some weather, but I'm not say 100% sure. But you know, it's always have have a safety lock on there. Um, Another buy that uh, I suggest you guys to have are uh, ratchet straps. I purchased these at Harbor Freight. Uh, I think they were five to seven dollars. It comes with a set of four. Um, these are just uh, they're basic ones. You could get um, some thicker, thicker material ones. Uh, they're more, a little bit more um, in price. But I suggest these. You know, just keep these around. I uh, use them all the time. They they, they come in. And next, this is a cable with a lock that I use. I use this to tie down my tire uh, to the trailer, and I will be showing you guys that so it, it doesn't roll. Um, and it's more like an anti-theft device that I use. But if I use it, if I need it for something else, I could just take it off and uh, use it for whatever I need it for. I'm about to show you guys how to hitch the trailer right now. Right now, I have it all locked up. So this is the way I. Uh, hitch um, my trailer first I um, take the coupler lock off take the other lock off <clears throat> Well, locked right there I don't have to lift it because it's already lifted with the the, the tongue jack I gotta open it okay open this up this is a toolbox so don't forget about it Put the locker here. Now I come take off my cover off. This one has the pin with the key on there, which would be this right here. I'm gonna leave the key on there because I'm gonna be attaching the the adapter on there. Put the cover in here. Here's the adapter. Take the boomerang pin, I don't need it. So all you gotta do is slide it in. You gotta line the hole right here. Put the pin in. This, I don't need the key anymore. It just self locks and then bring that down. And there you go, it's on there. Now I come take the wheel chucks off, put it in here. Right here. Now I gotta come take the wheel lock that I made over here, the cable. So Grab this and I put it in here. Okay, so now all I gotta do now is pick it up and hitch it on the ball. There you go, that's on there. Pocket. 
Now I get my coupler lock, which is right here. Okay, coupler locks on. Now grab the chains, put them in here. There you go. These are very important because if any case the hitch fails, this will uh, it's a safety for the for your trailer not to be rolling on the freeway and hit somebody else. They'll still drag it. So the last thing I would do is hook up the adapter, but I don't have one yet, so I'm gonna be wiring it up. I'm waiting for my adapter to come in so I can install it. That's in a later video. And all I do now is close the box and inspect the trailer. And everything looks good. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. And you guys have a good one. Peace.